the madman. Do I think Quest Rogue will have a chance to make a comeback, or is it still garbage after the nerf? Eh, it's possible. Meta slowing down is what Quest Rogue wants, and that is probably what's going to happen. Alright, so this looks like it's a Taunt Druid deck. Probably might have Hadronox in it, but it is one of those uh, pre-built decks, which means it probably doesn't have Hadronox in it. Don't think I can actually Dirty Rat. We've got so many scary cards. There's no way. I'm going to on six be playing Drake almost certainly. I know everyone laughs when they uh, say, when they ever hear the meta is going to slow down. Because it turns out everyone's always wrong. Again and again. But this time around, it's really going to do that. And by the way, I didn't say that it would slow down at this expansion. My shield for Argus. up with all sorts of value. Wow, so many discounts for him. Hunter's gonna outvalue me on the uh, hero power there. We're out of stuff. Come on, ultimate infestation, be in the stack. Be in the stack. Cut down so much of his late game, but it doesn't matter. Hunter build a beast beats all late game. doesn't kill me this turn. Hadronox uh, gets back a bunch of stuff. Rat, Rat, Lord, Defender, Gang, Gang, Claw, Drake, Lich King. Still not gonna add value him though.
missed the Lich King. That's too bad. Build a beast! It's gonna get me. It's just a matter of time. My shield for Argon. No fair, he summons so many five fives. Oh, interesting. The only possible way I think I can win right now is by having so much stuff on the board that he can't deal with it. Even though he eventually gets ridiculous value, I can't really stop him with the lifesteal. So this deck surely must have the Druid Doom Death Knight in it. That by itself is not going to win me the game. I'm just up against infinite value. Oh, this is in the deck! Sick! Oh, saved! Holy cow, we can actually win because of this card. I wonder if there's one or two copies of it in the deck. That was a lot of tempo and value. There's only one copy in this deck. Lol, everyone who was like, Oh, we're gonna draw too many cards, but only put one copy of Ultimate Infestation in our deck. So Webweave is going to be very, very strong against Build-A-Beast, probably. Side effects. No. Holy cow, he can actually win! Just about phoned it in, but hold the phones. Okay. Zoth, that's good. So he's not played his 7 mana card yet, so that does need to die. It's 
It's definitely right to choose poisonous, but I have the buff. Oh, and high mains. I haven't seen any of those either. Wow, this is gonna be a close one. So I think he's got three build of beasts in his hand. He's got the abominable snow. Oh, that's really good. Abominable Bowman, rather, not Snowman. So if I think he has two High Mains in that deck. He's got Bowman, High Main, and one other card, and then uh, two more build a beasts Wow, we won! All thanks to Ultimate Infestation and Hedronox. Turns out Ultimate Infestation is pretty good if you didn't know. I can't believe I actually got to review the most powerful card in the entire game. Good thing it's getting nerfed! Oh wait! <laughs> We're going to the zoo. 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 It's Warlock v Warlock. The Rigel is pretty bad. The Egg is good but I don't have an enabler and I don't know how many enablers there are. Turns out there's a lot. It's probably still wrong to keep a 3 drop if it's zoo. Oh, that's the dream. I know he's the mirror, so there should be no catch-up cards in that deck. It's a 4-4 four, four on my turn 1. It's pretty good. A 3-3 three, three, and a 1-1 one, one for 2 mana. And 2 cards. Oh, runic eggs in this deck. Interesting. From... From years of playing Zoo, I know that in Zoo v Zoo, it's really hard to come back from the board when you're behind. Your opponent just takes all the good trades and then you lose. Oh man, Meat Wagon in this deck too. So, there are the eggs. I guess there's only eggs, maybe? We can buff these guys so they both don't kill it unless the knife juggler shoots it. That'd be pretty unlucky, I guess. I guess it's not that bad if it uh, does shoot it. Speak your peace. Oh, <laughs> that is... that is not good. I guess in this deck, buffing the meat wagon is really bad. So this is probably the best uh, deck, the Elemental Mage. That looks like a pretty good curve.
I was gonna say something along the lines of he'd have to have a really good reason not to dagger there. That was not a good enough reason. So that deck has a bunch of death rattles in it, so sheeping stuff should be pretty good. Just thinking about saving that for draw a card, but nah. This card, by the way, will eventually be really good someday. Well, if the tools are given. But someday. Okay, I feel the need to uh, underplay given the secret. Hmm. Do I test with coin? Coin only gets. Well, coin gets two of them. He played that on his turn four, so he m really wanted to do something, so I figured it was going to be something fast like Mirror Entity. It's probably almost never Ice Barrier Ice Block. Did he really spend his four mana turn to play a counter spell? I mean, given that nothing was copied, it looks like yes. I mean, I can always, like, coin and then play something useful, I guess. This deck actually looks pretty good, other than the Ice Walker and the Cold Earth. Well, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just Elemental Main, which was pretty good, but isn't quite strong enough to be an actual competitive deck. It will probably remain that way after the rotation. Cold Wraith combo. I could see myself using Cold Wraith and Water Elemental together in a free to play deck. That'd be pretty good, actually. By the way, speaking of free-to-play, uh, plan is still on to make October the free-to-play month. Do a free-to-play with actual minimal arena. Wow. Two, three, four. <laughs> Pretty good rolling of the bones. Not sure which one to freeze still. Probably the 2-2? Two, two? Nah, the 3-3. Three, three. And I'll trade into the 2-2, two, two, I guess. Ooh, Regina. I was seeing myself as the aggressive deck because I wanted to kill Valera before the Death Knight got too much value. But then I realized, oh right, I guess I have a Death Knight too. Death Knight's pretty good. Uh, draw their Death Knight Valera soon. My value fiesta should beat his value fiesta. So 2-4 on Umbra is planned. Hmm. 
Would I rather bind his card or counter it completely? Probably counter. The roll of the bones is a lot worse in my deck than it is in his deck. Stuff like that. Is that a third Firefly? Oh, I discovered one of Servant of Calamus. Okay. <laughs> I guess I have to use this Shatter while I can. It's just like, why would I ever discover Firefly with Servant of Calamus, right? Alright, so he's got two bones. Uh, skeletons. Which is probably bad for him since, uh... Got that icy touch. But we do already threaten the elemental. Ooh. Okay. Huh. I wonder if I have more AoE. Probably a second blizzard, I'd like to think, in this deck. There's nothing I really want to blaze this turn. I definitely want a water elemental. The reason not to blaze in hero power is because I could draw in the blizzard, which is much better. Furthermore, uh, I would only be killing the 5-7, which isn't even that much better than killing a 4-2. It only removes one extra damage from the board. So the search for an answer was a better play, I'd say. I don't even know if there's a second blizzard in this deck, but it would make sense that there's another AoE somewhere in this deck. Even if there was no AoE, I was uh, perhaps still fine with just drawing for it. Blaze Collar will always be there. Foolish rogue, I have so much health. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, you can play that. I guess we can kill that as off at least. With the water alley still. At least play one of the spooky skeletons. Wow. It's fine because I was gonna ping this off for the skelly anyways. Or for the water, Ellie. For the welly. I guess that's the biggest thing I can possibly shatter. He's played two skeletons so far, which means he has uh, two skeletons in his hand. And then just three cards. Do you guys remember when everyone thought Shadow Blade would be super OP, but I called it a one star card? People thought Doomerang was gonna be OP. Speaking of. Ah, sweet, sweet. Justification. Out. 
validation, rather. There we go, it's Trump Reviews. Coming up soon. Oh, right, the coin. Zero power was a uh, pretty good value. Oh, it is a OTK deck. Wait, so what's the plan here? I play Valen and then I Mind Blast? That's only 10 damage. It's uh, pretty hopeful, but... Oh, wow. Not too bad. That's actually really good. Get it out. Get it out. I'm gonna try to live the dream. Somehow use Circle of Healing to draw one or two cards. Okay, I have to ask, is Lyra in this deck? It is? Okay. Win condition identified then, I guess. It has the 3-3 three, three Prince in it? Oh, so that's how you make the 3-3 three, three Prince good, huh? Only a fool will the Lich King. Dr. Three. Only a fool will huh. <laughs> so that's how you make that card good, huh? Huh. Alright, it's Zoo. I can't possibly hold the combo for that long. Shadow Reaper Anduin actually kills the uh, Devil Sword. I was right. This deck has a lot of really good cards in it. Just uh, just gotta you know do something with them. takes a great visionary to see what it's uh how it all comes together yes oh plus one plus one plus three attack plus plus one plus three no almost ruined Alright, so what's died on my side so far? Northshire, two Radiant Elementals, a Knife Juggler, Tainted Zealot. Ooh. Ouch. Oh my gosh. Rip me. To air is human. No. Your victory proves nothing. Best Brawl deck, I would say, uh, is Mage.